Hello faithful viewers and welcome back to another review. This time, in the spirit of Doctor Who's 60th anniversary, we're going to take a look at the 8th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. Now this toy was released in 2013 to mark the show's 50th anniversary. But before we look at the screwdriver itself, let's put that to the side and take a look at the packaging. This uh, was, again, packaging that was to mark the 50th anniversary. So we can see the 50th anniversary logo at the top there. It was part of wave two that we can make out. We've got the uh, collect them all kind of Pokemon kind of thing going on there, badge wise. It's electronic, it's battery operated. We can see that it is the screwdriver of the eighth doctor from a 1996 TV movie. Electronic again with sound effects by character options for ages five plus, blah, blah, blah. Nothing on the side. If we could look at the back, we can see some other screwdrivers from the range. Uh, that says 10th and 11th, blah, 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 blah. Legal guff on the bottom and that's the box. Like with all the classic sonic screwdrivers, the Eighth Doctor's looks a bit like an otoscope, you know, the kind of thing that a doctor would stick inside your ear to look at your ear canal and all of that. It's very reminiscent of one of those sort of things. Now it retains the circular emitter at the top with a big red bullet lodged in its center. The body of the screwdriver is, as per usual, silver, as we can see. Uh, but we do have a bronze ring running along the lower hand grip. Now, there's the speaker and there's all the legal jargon, as per usual. But really, apart from that, that's kind of it for detail. There isn't a hell of a lot going on here. What happened to my words then? <laughs> There's not a lot going on. That's what I'm trying to say. Now the screwdriver has four distinct sound effects which are activated by the push of the button here on the bronze ring. So the first one is as simple as basic sound. Second one, bit higher pitched. Uh, and all I did there was just press that once for that and press it again for that. But if we triple tap it, There you go, that's kind of like a uh, laser beam scanner kind of thing. I know it's not, it's a sonic screwdriver, it doesn't shoot lasers, I know, but... Kind of like a scanner, I suppose. And then if you tap it four times... It's kind of like a damaged sound effect. So uh, I like the variety of the sound effects here. I know it's commonplace now to have many variations of the screwdrivers in terms of the sounds, but back in the past, it kind of felt like a bit of a rarity to have more than two. I would have preferred this screwdriver to function the same way as the rest of the classic screwdrivers, however, because um, with the others, you activate them by pulling down the collar, whilst this is the push button. Now, I know that this screwdriver operated differently in the 1996 movie because the collar extended and it wasn't used as the activator for the screwdriver. But but, uh, and, and I mean, truthfully, when I first got this screwdriver, I expected it to operate the exact same way as all the others. But I was disappointed to discover it didn't. So the screwdriver requires two 1.5 volt button cell batteries to operate. And the battery compartment is, of course, located on the lower hand grip like that. And you need a screwdriver to open the screwdriver. Oh, the irony! But uh, simple as that. When you've got it unscrewed, you can see the batteries on there. It does come with these included, thankfully, so you don't need to go hunting around for any. And then just to seal it up, slap that back in place and use, guess what, a screwdriver to seal it back up. You can see the Eighth Doctor screwdriver on the far left here is of average height when compared to the rest of the screwdrivers in my collection. It's far from the smallest, but it's definitely not the tallest. And we're just going to demonstrate uh, having 9 and 10s fully extended and then 11s fully extended, just so you can see that comparison right there. So there we go, that's been a very brief look at the 8th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. Now design-wise, I think it is my favourite of the classic Sonic Screwdrivers. I mean, I like the combination of the silver and the simplicity of the bronze ring. Um, however, its operation via the push button feels a bit unimaginative when compared to the pull-down collar of its peers. What I mean by the pull-down collar, by the way, if we use the War Doctors as an example... 
that kind of thing. If they could have found a way to incorporate that feature into this screwdriver, then it would have been perfect. Uh, but because of the lack of this feature, the screwdriver falls a bit short in my opinion. And I would go so far as to say, because of that, it's actually the weakest in my personal collection, which is unfortunate once again, as I like the general design of that. But alas, you can't get everything, can you? But anyway, that has been the 8th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver. So thank you everybody so much for stopping by and checking out this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and share it around to help out the channel. And until the next time, see you all later.